I'm definitely good trying to get a perspective like this. No. In the weekends, you can party here. One of us, one of us is gonna get. Yeah, man. How do you guys like living on a boat? But you have an e bike. Why you didn't get a regular bike? Laziness. Really good presentation. This is the dog right here. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in a refrigerator. Is this video gonna go viral? What's up guys? Welcome to Amsterdam. Today I got a special tour for you. Today I'm going to be showing you the city, a little bit of the city, at least the city center through the eyes of two people living here. Um, some subscribers I met here, very cool guys. Just to give you an idea of what I'm about to show you, some stuff from night perspectives. I film at night and also film some stuff in the morning. Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, and yeah, leave a comment of what we miss and what we should sh uh, check out. All right, appreciate you, all right? But first, let me introduce to you the two guys that are, have been showing me around town and gonna show me some stuff today. I got my boy Quincy yes, in the man. building yeah. and we got my boy Gino. Gino, yes, my sir. bad. Yes sir. Where you from? So uh, I was born and raised in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, my dad is from Suriname. My mother is Dutch. So uh, Okay. Yeah. You out here? Yeah, I'm out here. What about you? Yeah, I'm, I was born in Ghana. Okay, how, how many years have you been here? Uh, 21. Yeah, I'm in my 21 year. Okay, so it's safe to say both of you guys know this area, all right? Yes. yes. Okay, so this is the city center. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Right around the square. Center. How important is this to the city? What people be doing in this city, right? In this area right here? So this area is a little bit, uh, yeah, you, as you can see, it's a lot of uh, cafes, coffee shops. So, uh, yeah, in the weekends you can party here, some clubs here. You can see Rembrandt Square is named after the Dutch, famous Dutch painter. Right. All right so. so, actually, guys, I did some filming already. So, I'm going to show you what I ate this morning. And then I'm also show you this place at night. Let's go. And then we'll come back and we'll do some more exploring of uh, this area. Come on. Stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. What's up guys? So I'm going to this interesting cafe. It's really close to my hotel. It's a uh, mid-afternoon. So let's see what we can get. Um, I don't know what's what's here. I'm actually visiting this park. I'm waiting for someone to show up, but I'm hungry. So I might as well check what we can find in this restaurant. Mm. Very nice setup though. All right. Very nice decor here, guys. They have an English uh, menu, so let's see what they got here. Some light breakfasts. So low fat, a breakfast bowl, granola bar, fresh fruit, roasted coconut honey. All right. I'm beginning to think this place is a vegetarian place. So uh, we'll see what we can find. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so check this out right here. This is my latte right here. Comes in a nice tall glass, and they gave me a little muffin thing, and I got me a little bird who's hoping the fat guy drops some food. Normally, the birds come around when they see me. They're like, oh yeah, he gonna drop some food. This is dope, I like it. Let's see if the latte is good. I've been enjoying the cafe here, the cafe. <laughs> really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, very thick. Right here? Foam right here. Gives it a good um, good flavor to it. I can't drink this like a Guinness. <laughs> no, it's hot. But it's good, it's good. I'm gonna put a little sugar on it and uh, get my day started, yo. I wasn't expecting this. This is what I ordered though. But I love the presentation. Fried eggs, um, I also got it with ham. And then on the side you got avocado, all right? Sunny side up. And they give me some bread with it too, all right? This is a really good presentation. And uh, yeah, bon appetit, yo. Breakfast was really good. I'm not too much of a sunny side type of dude. I like my food to be really fried. So if that's not you, just make sure whenever you come to Europe and you order eggs, you explain to them, hey, I want it fried all the way, all right? Or scrambled my eggs, all right? Otherwise, that's generally the, uh, the presentation they give you. It's like the default, if anything. So bring that up. But the food was good, all right? 
Yo, uh, let's get back to the video. Oh, they're gonna be here for like two months. They're gonna freeze it up, you know, so by after January, they remove it. So throughout Christmas, you know, there's gonna be a lot of skating out here. And this is Rembrandt, you know, yeah. the Dutch famous painter. All right, yeah, so. Really good energy right now. Look how this uh, area this lights up. Bunch of restaurants. Just to give you a perspective of this place at night. All right, so this is how it's looking right now, guys. They're filling the, the self-made tank right here. And this is what's going to contain the the ice. Interesting time to come to uh, Amsterdam. It's going to be re some really cool energy here. Yeah. Oh! You see? So this is how you can freeze the water, right? The uh, machine. Right. Oh, the, okay, the generator right this, there. Yeah, and this is the lighting. Right. And then it goes in there and it freezes everything. You see the water? Right. Tomorrow is going to be freezing. You oh. See, you see this? Right. These things. You see here. Oh, they're all underneath wow. it. All oh, these pipes. Wow. <laughs> so the, the oh. <laughs> so the pipes. Uh, right oh. Now so we're now we're I understand. Now. The pipes are going to freeze this thing. I was trying to figure out how it works. Now we know how they do it, guys. This is Madame Tussauds. We just walking right here and I saw my man over here. Mm -hmm. Ed Sheeran, right? Right. And you know, Tropical Cruise to Jamaica, the album that almost won, like, went to a Grammy. He was like one of them. I literally was walking down the street and I'm like, yo, looks just like him, man. Whoever did this statue got to do one for uh, Dwayne Wade, man. Yeah, they have all of them. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson is even J -Lo. Yeah. How much is it? Uh, uh, maybe from 10 to 20 or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We can see it free from the window. We're, that's it, you know, that's why you, if you ain't got no time, get the freebie. <laughs> there you go. That's messy? That's messy, yeah. bro. <laughs> Look at, but he's a little dude, though. In reality, that's, that's his size. Bro. That's his size? Yeah, that's his size. Well, guys, you gotta come here to see like this, man. Nah, man, Messi is 10 foot tall, man. <laughs> This is not the Messi I know. This is this. Hey, who's this guy, bro? That's probably Messi from like, a distance. This look like Captain Planet, man. Not Captain Planet, like Captain America, dude. That look like the Captain America, dude, guys. Mama Argentina, let me know what that guy looked like. Is that him? Guys, look what they brought me to at night. This is very uh, iconic. You can see the designs of all sorts. It's a very special Dutch design. It's your place. That takes you back to the, the golden era, Dutch golden era kind of. So it's a special place that brings you back to the golden era of Dutch. Everything you see here is like. With the green and everything. These three stars, that's Amsterdam. Right, the, the three X. All right. Matter of fact, let me get the, actually the, the real red and black three X. That's what it is. We are down square, right? Down the square right now. Down square, the heart of the city. Okay. That's the main train station is over there. Right. And when you go here, this is the entrance to the red light district. And you're looking at the grasshopper. The grasshopper. Okay. Yeah, that's the coffee shop. The green house you see over there. So it's like one of the famous ones or yeah, what? Yeah, one of the biggest Okay. Shops. Oh, and that's why it's green. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. What caught my eye about this place wasn't the, the, the grasshopper. It's just the skyline, guys. I don't know if you can see by the skyline right now. The buildings don't look even. They're tilted and what was yeah, going on with that? It's on purpose. It's on purpose? Yeah, it's on purpose. This is traditional Dutch houses, right? They shape that way for stability. So you can see also they, there's a lot of construction going on. Right. And then when they are digging the underground, some of the houses, like the foundation kind so of... So it wasn't on purpose, it's yeah. because of the construction inside. Yeah. yeah. It's oval. When you look at the buildings, yeah. they're all oval. Amsterdam is like designed over. The streets are like oval. And this right. is typical Dutch. When you go to the Caribbean, you're going to see this as well. Oh, the right. Curacao, you're going to see these Dutch houses. Oh, like, but... It, Dutch I mean the construction, but not the tilting of the houses, right? Yeah. You'll see tilting in Curacao. Yeah. 
Yep. Wow. I just thought there was so much people in the red light district that the, the, they started to sink over in this section over there. Because if you I don't even think it's like that on this side, but yeah, here. Also, you can see it a little. Oh, actually, you could. Yo. Right. You used to live like, in, a, in yeah, this area? Yeah, with, uh, yeah, with my ex over there. How was that? With the building, you could see it, feel it tilting from the... Um... It's, it's nice. What it is, it's like... The staircase are very steep, mm. long steep staircase. Right. So you gotta be very careful when you're climbing up there. And yeah. They don't have lift in them. Ah. No uh, uh, you know Just what? I did up. see a video about how like people come in to stay in this area you need to understand like you might have to walk up with your bags yeah, if you got yeah, some yeah. heavy bags. Yep. And then, um, yeah, those stairs, uh, I think I seen like a, a picture of a stair just like yeah, winding. Also, the alleys are a little bit small. It's narrow. So, yeah. Narrow. Yeah. Very narrow. All right, steep. right, right. So when you carry your bag and going upstairs, bro, it's, uh, when you get up there and you don't like the hotel, you can't come down because you know you put in so much work to get up there. All right. You know, so, <laughs> right, 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 right. So you're gonna stay. Ah. What time these things close? These uh, January stop. Uh, so this is like the street car, right? We right. call it tram. Right. Uh, I think 12:30, 1, yeah, 1 a.m. It, 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 it stops. Okay. That's every day. Uh, yeah, every day. But uh, after one, when the this thing stops, you can take the night bus. Oh, so there's the a night bus. bus yeah. Goes from one till the morning, five o'clock, and then this trams. The day but it doesn't move it doesn't come as fast how many hour once an hour the night bus the night bus yeah once an hour they come yeah, 30 minutes yeah. also sometimes 30 oh okay minutes. and it, yeah. you can it'll be longer but you can still ma uh navigate through the city and get where you're trying exactly. to go exactly. you might have to walk a little bit more yeah. depending on where it is yeah. Yeah. Is actually it's better you walk because then you're gonna you know see all these attractions right right all the nice things when you're sitting in the bus or tram you can you're missing them. Right. You know, so this is like pretty much like a walk-in street. So you can, you know, know what like Amsterdam really is about. The train station is there. You get out of the train. Right. And this is the first ah. street all the way here. Oh, okay. And it goes to the square. Oh, okay. So this street is it's popular in, in the daytime. It is. All right. So uh, you were saying something about uh, transportation here, like at late night. We, we were just talking about yes, the Uber. Exactly. So you can take Uber here. But uh, for example, if you are at Central Station and you need to go to Dam Square, I recommend you just, just walk for two minutes because uh, if you take the Uber, it's gonna drive you all around and drop you there. It's gonna cost you like 20 minutes and you just euros. go, yeah, 20 euros, yeah. but also 20 minutes or 30 minutes because uh, cars are not allowed in the city uh, anymore. So it's yeah. five minutes walk. <laughs> Certain cars, what you mean? Certain cars, yeah, because uh, the streets, uh, they close all of the streets. So the taxis need to drive all around to drop you. Right. Like that. Oh, so check, if you're going somewhere, check the map to see if it's yeah. it faster to either take a, if it's if it's possible a train, yeah. walk, yeah. Uber probably be your last resort depending on where you are in the city. Okay. Okay. Good. Well. Okay. That's important because the reason why I'm bringing that up, guys, is because actually we were in a party area I filmed a couple of days ago, and now. We're in this other area, which I thought was kind of far, but it, little did I know he could have walked here. <laughs> and the Uber, it's kind of felt longer coming around this area. So there it you go. You around just to make it cash. Right. So is this like a place for people to rent boats? Oh. No, it's a, it's a boat it's a tour company, so you can take the boat. Okay. And then uh, they drive you all around uh, the city area. You can see different uh, different five from. Uh, Right. Uh, it's a canoe. So it's like you buy a ticket, right? Right, and then uh, you book it. Right. It got to be full before it moves around. Oh. Uh, probably about 20, 25, 30 people to to go in one cruise. Wow. Right. Okay. Cool. About an hour. Okay. Just a sightseeing the area. Uh, and it's like. You know, you know how Amsterdam is like the channels. It's yeah, there's a lot of can around. canals in this area. Yeah. I noticed. So you can navigate through the whole city on the water. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Bro. All right, cool. The bridge we call it Gracht. Gracht. <laughs> the channels we call Amsterdam them Gracht. Gracht. <laughs> All right. I right, hear that, guys. You hear it? 
You know, we shot a video from there, like you saw the grasshopper, right? From a distance. Right. So now we're next to the grasshopper, which is like entering the, the, red, the red light. Red, like at night. Yeah, at night. And you got this bar right here. Exactly. Right here. What is it called? Cafe La DJ? Yeah, this is a typical Dutch bar. So Dutch people from, from here come here and they play a lot of Dutch music. That's nice. Traditional bar. That's good too. You know what I mean? You, you don't want to have it all foreigner up. Uh, got the vibes here, yeah, definitely. All right, so we're walking into a, a, another nightlife area that I didn't film. So this is <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, they listen to some, some good music. They vibe it. We're walking now. Uh, this is called the uh, Warmustrat. What's it called? Warmustrat. Warmustrat. Yes, exactly. And that's Strat, the street. Okay. <laughs> Warmustrat. Warmustrat. And the Mustrat means street. Street, yes. Okay. In Germany, it's Strasse. Man, I keep seeing walk in everywhere we go. It's like on every block. It's like McDonald's. You mentioned something to me earlier about if you are going to try some of the waffles here. Yeah. No, I, I don't recommend you to eat some waffles here because. They keep the food there for five, six, seven days, and if it's being displayed and yeah. sit like it's almost ready, don't get it. No, skip on it. it no, Make sure you see it. it being made yeah, um, right exactly. there. Yeah. They do that because they have so much people coming yeah, in. All of the tourists uh, walking here and they think it's fresh, but yeah, me as a local, I know it's not fresh, so we don't eat there. All right. Okay. And so this is another nightlife area where you can go to some bars. Yeah, yeah. And it's open like almost 24, uh, not 24 hours, but every day. Too late yeah. in the evening, you can come here, drink some beer, yeah. whatever you want. And next to this street, you're right. entering the red light area. All right. See that thick fries? It's plums. Plums. Yeah, plums. All right, let's. It's like chips to me, guys, but let's. Uh, oh, yeah, they're kind of bigger than the chips. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it got a room. Kind of remind me of a. Uh, the chips I've seen in um, the UK, but they call them flums here. Yeah, that's yeah. fries. They call it fish, fish and chips, like in the UK. Right. Let's check out the steakhouse, guys. Right here, you got a steakhouse here. Um, see um, what you can get. You can get a um, burger for 11 um, euro. Oh, La Marea is the name of the place right here. So these fries look economical, yeah, right? Nice grill, yeah. Yeah. Chicken steak. Not fries. bad. So guys, uh, we actually made it back to the park. Night has progressed and it's 12 o'clock and uh, this is a Tuesday. And this seems to be a really popular place for locals and foreigners to come enjoy their time. One of the clubs is Escape, Olivia, and of course you got Smokey over there. It was a cool vibe, or not Smokey, Prime actually. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it right there and um yeah the vibes over here man this is a tuesday so just in case you're wondering like can i come out here and have a good time on a weekday tuesday all right enjoy i used to say there's all types of energy here but <laughs> this is an option to do on a tuesday if you are visiting all right guys so i'm a little bit closer to olivia to see exactly what everybody's going crazy for Man, this is a mayhem line, y'all. <laughs> On Tuesday, everyone wants to be in there, yo. <laughs> I did not see this line when we were first here. It's super lit, y'all. That's amazing. Cool. Yeah, so maybe that's the thing. People go out at 12 at night. Okay? They go out at 12 at night and start their day. Yo, I, we didn't see this crowd here earlier. So is that a thing? Like people I think just the escape is this one, but they go in here and I don't know the entrance is like it's a mess. It don't even work. Like yeah. it gotta be. This thing look like it's closing at four o'clock because for you to be in this line and waiting yeah. and you don't want to be no. there for that long, right? So guys, it's the next day and this is how it's looking. All right, super dope. All right, so there's a cool place that they do stuff with ice here, yeah. uh, ice bar. Let's see if we can go in there and meet the people there. Yo, we are in Rembrandt. Right. We are three sisters. What is that? 
Three Sisters is a perp, it's a very famous perp here. Okay. You know, in the heart of Rembrandt. What you say it's famous for? Um, when inside I have a personal story with it, you know. I had oh. pretty much nice, <laughs> nice dates in there. Oh, you're here having you a good time me. there. Yeah, man. So that's the spot to go to? Yeah, it is. What, what day is the, the best day to go? Um, every day basically, but you know, in the weekends it's of course. Okay. Know, Friday night. What yeah. music are we going to be listening to? Okay, for me, I think the mu it's more like the experience. The inside they have like the um, golden era European setup. Oh, the, just the whole decor yeah, of the, the place. Sitting, exactly. Three the sisters. Interior. Yeah, the interior. Okay, so three sisters bars. Guy, nice. put that on the list. Oh, uh, we are on the the Blaubroch, mm -hmm. which is in Dutch, and in English is the Blue Bridge. Behind me, you see the National Opera, mm -hmm. right? And uh, the city hall, the, 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 the city council hall is right also behind there. And okay. This is Waterloo playing. My right hand side, you see the ice bar over there, the famous ice bar. What is so that? We, the ice bar is like a bar in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, it's ice, so you have to wear a jacket, clothe yourself, your hands and everything to have a drink there for about 20 minutes and then you're out. All right. Because if you stay longer than that, you might freeze up. All right. All right, guys, so we finally got in. This is actually the lounge area. We'll wait here first, and then we're gonna be going inside. But what did they give us just now? So uh, this coin is for a welcome drink. Right. Uh, we get it uh, at first, and then uh, later we got two coins left for the ice bar. We can drink that. Too. Okay, so yeah, that comes with the price. It was like 24 euro per person if you are coming here. We literally booked it right today, and it was available. All right, so just in case you're like, oh, I got, do I have to book in advance? You might have to, but we booked it right and we got in here, all right. They put us for four o'clock, I think. That means we can only be here for a certain amount of time, I don't know. But we're here for the four o'clock shift. It was an open ticket though, when we brought the ticket. All right, so there you go. So this is where you can use that first big coin and get a welcome drink and then boom, go inside for the rest of the stuff. All right, guys, so if you're wondering what you can get into a welcome lounge, these are the drinks. So they have a non-alcoholic beverage, if you're just wondering. But yeah, there's so many different options here that you can indulge in as far as your first drink. So this is the coin they were talking about, and then your other two coins, this is what you can get over there with the other two coins. All right, not bad. Yo, all right. Welcome to the icebox. My name is Willem Baez, navigator, cartographer, Arctic explorer, and captain of the Mercury. Sorry. I am ready to freeze. Hello. Hello. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it looks so beautiful, right? Yeah. We're going to ruin for Neverland. I feel like I need it. Wow, this is beautiful. Cheers, 
one up? Yeah, cheers. Cheers, yeah. All right, yo. That's cool. Okay, so let's check out some of the decor they got here, guys. They got us polar bear made out of ice. Really cool. Huh? Yeah, it's very challenging filming. You gotta take your gloves off to press the screen. But let me tell you how it tastes. Mm -hmm. like it? It's ice, guys. <laughs> and if you want to have a shot too, that's a shot. There you go. Be careful, you don't want the alcohol to fall on your, your hands, guys. But this is super nice. Can I take this home with me? Um, I think so. It's yours. Uh, I should be able to take this home with me. But but the question is, would it last? How many minutes would it last if you get out? I want to try some iced coffee with this. Some iced latte with I'm that. I'm not sure you'll be able to make it home with it. Huh? The temperature out there will melt it in a minute. Right, we we gonna go to coffee shop with this. So I'm taking it with me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, here you go. This place is getting super cold. So the, we have some ladies here hanging out. They said it's not that cold. They oh, it's cold. <laughs> it is very cold. Yeah, they said it's very cold, but I like it. It's a cool place. Oh, yeah. Now, if those were real fishes, that would be cool right here. You see the little fish? Yeah, man. He's brought me here. He wants me to experience the Antarctica part. <laughs> Oh man, listen, my hands are freezing like hot dogs already, man. <laughs> Holding the glass. You do, you're gonna get the vibes here. You'll get the vibes here. Do you think we can keep the glasses? No. <laughs> you won't get very fast. Man, I wanna take the home with me. <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do? They're gonna reclaim this or something with it? <laughs> oh. Hey guys, welcome to Amsterdam, when you can get a cold beverage at the ice bar. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in a refrigerator. Is this video going to go viral? Comment down below, and there's a pirate there. He's in ice. There's a polar bear too, hold on. I got time, we got one more minute, let me go. The, the polar bear is here too. Ooh. And he's changing colors. Ah. I'm trying to get a viral video, I don't know how it's gonna work. That's the free, that's the free picture. <laughs> I can take this cup with me yes. or no? Ooh, okay. What am I doing with it? Put it in a pocket, it's gonna be for two minutes. Oh, oh two minutes? She's, uh, listen, guys, we can take this cup for real and put it in your pocket if you want to. So there you go if you're wondering. Take it home with you. But guess what? Ain't nobody taking that cold thing home with them. It's too cold. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, Playboy, I'm out. In Italy, they have the culture of the boats and everything, and this kind of reminds me of that whole thing. It's cool, you can get the same experience here. A similar. Okay, so you are looking at um, these boats, the, the lovest boat, it's like a canoe. Uh, it's for tourists. Right. It takes you through the Grachten, the Grachten, the channels. Amsterdam is very famous for the channels, right? right? So you have a city tour on water mm. through the channels. 
this is one of the there are different companies but you can see i think you saw lovers boat <laughs> the orange one yeah. right and then it goes throughout the whole city for like an hour to see the city okay. on water okay. that's what it is and here if we wait for what's, three the, what's hours, the name of the river again uh this is amster river okay yeah that's amster river so if we stay here for three hours in the night yeah you're gonna see a very beautiful outlook you see there's blue lights all over the place oh okay yeah, nice beautiful. nice if we wait for about three hours in the night this is one beautiful spot that you know, to uh, the to Dutch people are very proud of you okay know, having a view regardless of how many times they've seen okay well. yeah I just wanna be Actually, on one of the houseboats here in Amsterdam, but the owners don't want to show the fa their face, but they allow me to film their beautiful boat home. This is actually the balcony, as you can see. Check out the decor. This is what they got to deal with, man. Could you believe it? They have this beautiful background <laughs> to deal with. And so we walk straight this way, right? Yes. Okay. So this is this is where we go down into the other side, right? Got to be careful. All right, <laughs> beautiful guys. When you see, you can see how big this. Uh, well, you can see how long this boat is, but it, it's huge inside here. So this is their kitchen area here, yes. as you can see. All right, very nice. This is where the cooking goes down, where they make the cake and everything. And this way, right? Yes. Okay. Now. Check out the living room, the guys. Biggest wow. wow. Insane. Insane. I'm not going to go in the bedroom. <laughs> you got to give some privacy. But this is insane. If I show you this picture, you wouldn't even guess where I was if you didn't see what, how I came in here. So I have a, a couple questions. How do you guys like living on a boat? Um, we like it very much because it's very uh, cozy, uh -huh. uh, especially with a roommate that's your friend. Uh, it's sometimes because you you live on the water, so it's sometimes like, you know, it wiggles sometimes, not much, but not too much because it's a big boat. So oh, in the daytime when all the boats are When coming. all the boats, because you have a lot of boats here in Amsterdam. Right. Um, and, you know, it's uh, the windows. Um, uh, how do you call that? Um, the windows? Yeah, or? the windows. Um, it's very... Um, Thick? Uh, no, it can be very like cold and warm in the boat, okay. you know. Um, so the the temperature can be different in a boat. Yes. Well. So if something got to open the window if it's too hot. Yes. Or close the window. You have if it's to too like cold. let it breathe a lot the boat mm. because then otherwise it will get like muffy. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay, right. Um. So yeah, that's. One more I, thing. Uh, what's the best thing you like living? Because this is a nice neighborhood. Come on. Can yeah, the neighborhood can... is very nice. Like, drink party? some drinks and party a lot. So, and then hang out by that um, in the balcony. By the, That's yeah, the on best the balcony. Part. Come on, right? Yeah, there. <laughs> and you have you kind of you still have some privacy, so that's very nice. Right. And you have your own balcony. Uh, so you can sit outside, especially in the summer. It's mm. very nice and a lot of boats and people uh, who come by. So that's the great part. Mucho gracias. <laughs> All right, thank can you I so much. Uh, we are at the central station. And uh, yes, this is the back of the central station. Right. But now we're going to take the ferry to the Amsterdam town. We got a book for the Amsterdam town, but the ferry is for free. Oh, okay. We're going to get on the ferry then. But guys, this looks like a mall, man. This is the actual the area where if you were coming out of the area, airport and you take a train and you come to the central station this is how it looks right here there was a debate about uh, getting rid of the this yeah getting rid of the ferry because it's free and right. build a bridge over uh, a bike bridge over the water but they won't they probably wouldn't do it because it's a, i think it's expensive right too and also it blocks the view it kind of you know people are used to the water view just the way it is and then you said something about cruise lines right yeah of course and we have like the Westerports. 
the Amsterdam ports is there. So the two boats come from here and they go over there. You got all these, wait, wait a minute, where is everybody going right now? Is yeah, this... we're crossing to the island, to Amsterdam North. Where... Oh! So a lot of people live on that side anyway. It's a living place. Oh, I thought we just, I thought we were going to a tourist destination, no, but this is for, going, going okay. Amsterdam North, where we from. Oh, okay. North side. North side. Yeah. So this is a way for a lot of people to get home their route. So yeah. this is a, essentially a free bus. Okay, got 24 hours. 24 hours. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's check it out, guys. Everybody's here. Everybody's trying to get home. And yeah, yeah. nice. The front side, that's the front side. All right, guys, we're in the front. And apparently, that's the tower we we're trying to go to. What is that? The eye film museum. The eye. You know, it's designed like in you know, the shape of an eye. Okay, so there's a museum here, I feel museum, and that's the tower we're trying to go to right here. All right. The tower used to be like the headquarters of Shell. You know the Shell picture? What they doing on the top, yo? Swinging. Hell nah. I ain't doing none of that swinging thing. But I can see them swinging from here, guys. Hell no. We, we is not doing that. Hell no. Look at that. They look like uh, reindeers in the sky. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, check this guy out here with his Tesla bike. Wild enough to eat e many e-bikes here. This is one of the type of e- it's an e-bike? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the battery is inside here. The battery is there? Yep. Yeah. And uh, what's that? What's that? That's a... That's my, my uh, shift. That's your shifts? Yeah. This is my battery. This is oh, my nice. So let me ask you a question. Is it better to have an e-bike compared to a regular bike? Regular bike, always better. Yeah. Better for shape. Oh, yeah. For Wake me, up. yes. <laughs> no, are you serious? A re regular bike is better? Of course it is. Too, eh? But you have an e-bike. Why you didn't get a regular bike? Laziness. Is it faster with an e-bike? Lazy, yes, of course. Oh, no, I'm just curious, yeah? yeah it is. All right. Yeah. So in most of the bikes you'll see down here are the e-bikes now. And the fat bikes, the big ones. But wait a minute, you can still, you still have to pedal, right? So you still... You still have to, but you do hardly doing anything. Yeah. Wow. Hardly doing anything. All right. Well, you gotta get home, man. You gotta, come on, man. You, you long day, whatever you're doing, and you gotta get home. Yeah. Right. Whatever make it faster, that's it. And you have to enjoy your time here. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Well, part of enjoying is riding around, right? It is, for sure. You get to see some beautiful scenery. For sure. You see some interesting things. So people what is the scenery you are going to? We're, we're going to... that one? Yeah. Right. The lookouts. Right. That's it's a nice one. Right. I'm not going on the swing, but... <laughs> what, is the, what, is the top, what is the top three for you, what you're going to visit here? So we were, I think this is one of the top. That's it. And that's then it. Uh, we're going to go to coffee. Yeah. We have we'll to get some Grand coffee. <laughs> Be careful with the coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're very careful. <laughs> wow, this so guys, uh, yeah, look, just like that, we're already on the other side. It's a quick trip. Awesome. Okay, so in the year 1400 to 1700, the criminals were brought on boats to here. Right. And this is what's uh, like a Hansefeld, this is how we say it in Dutch. Right. People were, uh, yeah, the criminals were uh, brought here and they were hanged on the uh, Oh, with really? The rope. And then, yeah. They in this them. area? In this yeah. area, even in, uh, beneath, under beneath this tower, uh, many people were buried because this, uh, in way back, there were no homes here, nothing. It was an Just uh, criminals wow. brought here and North they were saying. Wow. North Gestort means like what? North is crazy yeah, north, north, yeah. north Gestort, that's what uh, Dutch people say. So, North is crazy. <laughs> All right. There you go, guys. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, so we're in the tower right now. All right, cost it, it, they have different prices, so you don't have to go on the swing, but if you wanna go on the swing, it's gonna be a little bit extra. So you'll see the prices there, they range from around 20 um, euro to uh, 30 euro, all right? All right, but this is uh, what you're gonna expect when you first come in, you're gonna get a nice little miniature view of the city. So this is actually where we're at, and this is, if you come to the city center, this is the area you might be staying at. All right, and then here is the red light district 
where the red windows are, okay? The ladies. My bad. And then check these out. Nice decor. All right, so it's time to go upstairs. Ready, player one. <laughs> All right, guys, so we made it to the top. So this is how it looks right now. Okay, it's a little bit windy. I had to take my hat off, so sorry if you hear the noise. Really nice, cool. So I guess this is a really good time to come at in the daytime, depending on the weather. Yeah, in the night, you have a different view. You have the light, right. you know, so it gives a different effect. So as you know, perspective depending on when you show up. and. There's the thing people are going crazy doing. I'm not doing that at all. It's safe, but not, I'm good. I, I can enjoy watching it from right here, guys. Look at this. Oh, no. All right. One. Two. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm definitely good trying to get a perspective like this. No, but it looks beautiful though. City looks very beautiful. They got this bar here though. You don't know. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. You don't know. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. I get it why people would come here for the perspective. You know what I'm saying? Take pictures, you know, from this thing right here. Something to do, something to do. And wow, they have all this information here. So depending on where you're looking, they give you some information about this area. You can learn a little bit more about the city by coming to the tower with an epic perspective view. Very nice. All right, they also have this platform here, guys. So let's check it out. Yeah, so I get it. This is where you're gonna get that really good shot of the city over the gates and it's safe too so you're not that close to the gate Book here, you have an option of you know just coming up here or getting a drink. So I end up getting a drink. 22 euro to get a drink here, okay? It's like wine or some soda or something. So we'll go downstairs and get a drink. Yo. Alright guys, so there is a place where you can enjoy the views here while having something to eat or drinking. So let's check it out right here. Yeah, this is really dope right here. Okay. So oh, this one actually are virtual reality pods where it can put you on a roller coaster ride and you <laughs> ride around the area, okay? So we uh, stumbled onto that, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Something to do, there you go, buy your ticket. 750 euro per person, there you go. And look how intimate this place is, wow. Wow. Now, if you come and uh, enjoy Amsterdam for a week, and um, yeah, man, this might be the spot. Just for one, come to here one day, just for a moment. This is really nice right here. And I got this thing right here. Let's see what I can get with this. All right. <coughs> What can I get with the golden tickets? So, oh, the golden. I don't know with it. <laughs> okay, so with this one, you can get a small Heineken, mm. glass of wine, also soft drinks, Sprite, cola, Fanta, juices, if you consider. Let me get some wine. Wine. You don't have champagne, huh? Uh -huh. Actually, with the token, you can get a nice Sauvignon as a white wine, or a rosé, or a Malbec. You... With that? Yeah, you can have one more of the three. Oh, rosé? You can get rosé, sauvignon, or a Malbec. Let me get the rosé. Rosé? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, special occasion, you know what yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? Special occasion, get the rice wine here. Ah, that's a good bubbly. 
That's amazing right there, guys. Look at that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. We're going to enjoy the night here with my nice little wine, looking at the beautiful views that are out here. And yeah, man, enjoy the night. Yo. I must admit, guys, coming here, I'm drinking some rose around this beautiful view right here. I feel like I'm a rich guy, man. And this only costs 22 euro, all right, for this experience. So definitely worth it. But if you're trying to do a little bit more, they can buy food with this experience as well. Hell nah. Love you, mommy. Love you, mommy. Yeah, man. Nice the call. Nice the call. Go through it. Right. It's gonna be a long journey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Down land. All right, yo. What is this the major economy? Yeah, this is a question I haven't asked you guys. Well, how do people make money here? I, I see a lot of people going places, bikes. It look like they're going to work. What is the like an account, the economy here? Besides tourism. And civil engineering. The, this country was built out of civil engineering. Tulip is a big export here. And yeah. what else is a big export in Amsterdam? Tourism, so as a red light. This tourism. Country. Some of the stuff here is legal. So yeah. that helps the, the economy here. Exactly. People travel here because they can do things they the can't do in other countries. Because the red light, the red light district and the coffee shops don't end in Amsterdam. They are all over the country. Nationwide, yeah. That's something you can do. At, what What else people would come here for, besides oh, Amsterdam? What? You know, you, know, the, you know, it's a free city, right? So people come here and they can be with themselves, basically. You understand? Okay. Same self. Yes. Oh, they have that type self, of marriage and all that stuff. Okay, they have. America they pro was illegal there. It's here. They come here to get married, to make it official, and go. Oh. Back. Oh, I didn't know that. For so many years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Netherlands have like the best engineering, water engineering companies. So the Shell company is Dutch owned company. Right. You know? yeah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's a Dutch owned. Philips. You right. know Philips? Electronics company. Yeah. Dutch owned. Dutch owned? Okay. So and you we got have, Shell. You know, have the Philips. The Palm Island in Dubai. What about One that? of the major engineering companies, the civil engineering companies, is the Dutch company, Van Oort. Okay, so you guys are known for innovative. Be, being innovative, yeah, having um, a lot of uh, engineers. Is that one of the top things yeah, people yes, go for yeah, here? Civil engineering, I would say. Construction. To learn, uh, to learn water, into okay. water management. You know, you know that the whole land is actually reclamation. In civil engineering, reclamation is claiming the land from the sea. We have Almere City which was totally claimed from the sea. It was all water. Oh, so really? The city built on water. So and that's through innovation and um, engineering. Exactly. They were able to do that. Yeah. And business management, they also really good at it. And the one fact is, they made a lot of money from the Atlantic slavery, you know, slave trade. Right. A lot of money, bro. Right. A lot. So one of the, yeah, they were importing a lot of stuff from these different um, places, Suriname, Aruba, Curaçao. They were importing like spices from uh, Indonesia, the Asian country, oh, Indonesia. all over the world. Yeah. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky it's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can Alright guys, so we are at a new place right here. You are looking at a dog. And who is the biggest dog in the world? Snoop Dogg. That's right, he has his own coffee shop here and people are enjoying their time. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this now just in case we're not allowed um, access into filming. Obviously, you know, people doing their thing. But uh, I'm giving you a little perspective. Bow wow wow of his shop right there. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the entry right here. It's of course with some blue lighting. All right. And and that's the boy right there. Yeah. That's his name right there. And interesting. All right, guys. So this is the dog right here. Once you come in, check out the rooftop. 
All right, really cool. People enjoying their time. And I am drinking latte. Enjoying my time. There you go. All right. We're gonna enjoy and we'll be right back. Pretty nice. Come in, Alicia, not so half and look on an all All right, guys, this is the end of the night. I'm going to end this video right now. But before I do that, I want you guys to do me a favor. Check out these guys. Both of the informations will be in the description. Quincy actually has a channel called Quincy on Tour. Yes, exactly. All right, on YouTube, he's building it up. He's not talking in the videos, but he has some really interesting content coming. Not only from Amsterdam, but he has some stuff coming um, in the future from the islands, all right? And my boy right here, Gino. XXL. So what you got going on? You got a... Uh, my promotion company, Gino XXL Entertainment. All right. We do a tour for artists from Africa, Jamaica, America. You know, check it out. Gino XXL, the real. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, in the description, go. Um, if you are coming to Amsterdam and you're like, dang, I need to know where the best spots at. You want to stream like your visit here. You want to know where to go. You want some information on things to do, how to navigate the city. These are the players you need to hit up. Information in the description. Don't be asking me, Ace, what's going on when these guys' information is in the description. Thanks for watching. More on the way. I see you guys in the next video. Word up. Yo. All right, cool, yo. Appreciate you guys for showing me around, all right? All right.